guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have the tutorial for these rose gold mirror nails. Um, they look a little more copper, but I'm still super excited about them. So I'm starting off with a black base coat. This is Sinful Colors Black on Black. You're not supposed to mix gel and regular nail polish, but I am. So this is the Born Pretty Store No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And I don't know why, because I'm not a nail tech, but the no wipe part is super important. Again, I have no idea why, but I'm just going with it. So I've cured my top coat, and now I am going to apply this Born Pretty Store Rose Gold Chrome Powder. So I can see it looks a little more orangey, coppery, but it still looks super pretty, so I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out on the nail. So right away as I'm putting it on, it definitely looks more copper than rose gold, um, but I'm buffing it in. It's still a little bit powdery. I think I used way too much powder. You really only need a tiny bit. But it's buffing into the nail super, super easily. And I definitely used too much. It is all over my finger. Um, oops. But as I'm brushing it away from the nail, you can see it's super mirrory and chromey. That's totally not a word. But as you brush away the powder, it starts to have that mirror look and it's really cool. Oh my gosh, you can totally see reflections in it. That's awesome. So I'm buffing in a little more powder, um, this is just a makeup sponge applicator brush eyeshadow thing. <laughs> what is the real name for those? Um, and then you can see it's super super shiny, and yeah this just looks super cool. So I'm brushing away the excess with this makeup brush, and it kind of stained my skin a little bit, it didn't really brush all the way off with the makeup brush, but once I washed my hands a couple times it came right off. Um, so you can't really brush away all the powder, it does leave a little bit of pigment on your skin, but once you wash your hands, it should go away. Oh my gosh, look, you can see my reflection. I'm waving. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so I'm now adding my Born Pretty Store No Wipe Gel Top Coat. Um, you have to be really careful when you're applying the top coat that you get all the way up to the cuticle um, and all the way on the edges, because anywhere that you don't cure the top coat, it won't. the powder won't stick. It'll just wash right off. So you can see on my first finger I did one coat of powder, and on my middle finger I did two, and I think I like my middle finger better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat on my first finger, and whoa, definitely like two coats better. So it instantly gets a little more opaque, and just a lot more shiny and mirrory. And I think it looks more rose gold too, this might have something to do with the fact that I put it over black. I wonder what would happen if I tried it over maybe pink or white, just different colors. So I'm curing that last top coat, and here is the finished look. I really like the way this turned out. The powder is a little more copper than rose gold, like I've said, but it's still super pretty, and I love the mirror effect of the chrome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Manny by Zoe. I also want to say a huge thank you to Born Pretty Store for sending me this chrome powder to share with you guys. If you'd like to purchase this product, you can use my discount code and also click the link down below in the description box. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.